Okay, now I'm going to show you a couple different ways to clean your lobster. The way I prefer. Later on, I'll show you how to cut it up restaurant style. And while I'm cleaning, I'll show you a couple different ways. But first of all, what I like to start with is you take your claws and you get down here low because this will help with the meat inside your body later to break this off. So you're going to break off your claw like this. Then what you can do is you can break this up piece of meat, hard not to eat, but I'm going to just put this all over here for now. I'm going to break this off, break that off. Take your baby finger, you can squeeze it out. If you don't like to do that, you can always take your fork and pick it out like that. There your shell's gone, the meat's gone over that. Now, take this, empty your juice. For our kids, they like to drink the juice, so you just hold it up and drink it like that which is good so break this off and this lobster is a little bit empty so your lawyer your meat came out here with that now the first claw I'm gonna break the way we usually break it which is with the fist you make sure these sharp edges you make sure they're down then you hit on top you do a nice firm hit and then you break it be careful because you can cut yourself and crack it Get all the shells out of the way and put your meat in there. So there's one claw completely gone. Like that. Now you got your other claw, same thing. Break that off. Meat over there. Push it out through. Or use a fork. Same thing, claw. Always break away. You can't break forward. Get your meat out. Usually we'd be eating this as we go. Same thing, take your claw. Cut it like this. Now I'm going to show you a real simple easy way. Don't try to force it. Keep your sharp spot up. Keep your hand back here. Take your knife and get a little practice. Hit it in. I missed a little bit. Hit it, hit it in. Turn it right around. Hit it in. And then crack around. See? Don't crack all around. Breaks right apart. Just like that. Take the white stuff off. That off. You got yourself a full claw. There's your claw. Now, take this, put it in the fake jar that we got over here, and get it out of the way. And, just so you can see it better, you're going to take your tail, and what we prefer is these legs are delicious. Try to do the same thing, break these off down low, and you can either do it like this. A little harder in your teeth, you break it apart, chew it apart. Same thing. You might think it's harder than teeth, it is. Another way to do it, remember try to break it off there. This is gonna later on you're gonna get meat out of there that you never knew was in there. It's gonna be good. You should have a cutting board, but we'll improvise today. You got a roll up and you're gonna straighten this out. You're gonna start here, and then you're gonna push down hard, and you're gonna roll. You're gonna roll. And that came apart. You hit there. You're gonna roll. And you're gonna roll it, roll it, roll it, and out comes your meat. One more time. Break off the leg. That usually comes out. Set there. And we're gonna roll it. Roll it like that. And get back on there. And roll it. And as you see, pretty nice piece of meat there. With some people, and the tastiest meat in the lobster, probably your legs, your claws. Tails are great for sandwiches, also great for eating. So to do this up, we're gonna finish this off. We'll do these legs later. We'll get this all off all off here. Don't be scared to get a little messy, it's food. Now, take your tail, give it a little twist. A little twist like that. Try to keep that stuff in there. And for those people that like the green stuff, we can just cut that off. You're going to take your tail like this. You're going to break these little flippers off, what they swim with. Now, most people throw these away. 
What we're going to do, we're going to put a fork up this side and open. Take a fork up this side and break that off. I'm going to break up this side. I'm going to take your fingers and look. We're going to pry up. Gonna pry up. Look. Delicious meat. Incredible. The best you'll have. It's a sin to waste it for the price you pay for lobster. Same thing to the other side. Nice and easy. Up that side. Just rip out that side. Rip off that. That little piece of meat came out. You know, nothing's perfect in this world. Go like that. Rip apart. Meat. Same thing. Already ripped. Open up. Piece of meat. So now that you get that all done, got a few more legs left there. You're gonna take your lob you're gonna take your lobster tail and you're gonna put it in your hands like this. And you're gonna squeeze back here. You're gonna squeeze up here. You're gonna squeeze there. You get it nice and squeezed together. You're gonna turn it around, you're gonna put your thumbs on the inside of these here. And you're gonna put your other fingers down below and you're gonna leverage, leverage, leverage. What you got? You get yourself a few pull your pure tail. Now we're gonna devein it because we want to get the vein out. So just make a nice little thin cut, right straight back, pull apart, pull apart, start up here, take it out, right back to the end. This is your most tender part back here. It's great. And if you're not too uh, fond of the tail because the meat's a little tougher, cut it up. It's the best part for sandwiches. So now that we have that all done, all you have left is the body. Don't be scared of the body. There's lots of meat in here. And if you're not scared to try new things, crack this open. Twist. Try not to touch. There's a lady it's called up inside here. Got bitter meat in there. Try not to touch that. We'll discard the white stuff. And this is where taking the legs off made it easy for us because this is all meat and believe it or not, very good meat. If you'd like, you can even give this a little wrench with the steamer seawater to get some of that green stuff off there and crack it and it will crack right usually down the center or down one side. Now all you do, push your fingers down through there and look, all meat. Just be careful not to get your shells mixed up in there because there are some shells and they're nasty but so then you take this this is a little bit harder you can just kind of break break like that and this is all all you need some all good meat bigger lobsters you get a lot more out of and people be impressed to see that you know how to clean a lobster completely like this why waste it okay you get back there it gets a little bit more difficult to clean now for the diehards that aren't scared, there's a little thing right here that you want to take out. That's no good. This here is a piece of meat. Eat it. Green stuff? Can't see. Pardon? I can't see. Okay, now take the green stuff. It's good. Some people like it on crackers. Do this quick. Take all this green stuff so you ate that. Now, these two little pieces up top, can you zoom in there? You gotta twist that a little bit. And be careful to break them off. And then the next one, you should be able to pull. Try not to break it or get bitter. That's your lady, no good. Now, in behind here, if it was a female, there'd be a row all here. This is a, a piece of meat. There's nothing wrong with it. Take a little bite. Delicious. Nothing wrong with it. And that there is how you completely demolish a lobster and get every bit out of it. Any questions, comments, I'd appreciate you emailing me on my site. I'd gladly appreciate answering any questions that I can. And that's www.steamers.com. Our email is 
info at steamersseawater.com. Look forward to hearing from you.